we're at the slipway today in the rain, but at least it's not that windy to water test this Bayliner 652 Cuddy. So she's a 20 foot, I think it's about 20 foot, six inches long. Um, it's fitted with a Meracruiser 4.3 litre V6, 220 horsepower MPI engine. And um, we are put in the water to run her through her paces. We're going to show you how she performs from the helm seat. So we're going to put her on the plane. I'm going to uh, take her up to full speed, show you exactly how the boat runs. So I'm just going to run you through the, the dash, the gauges, the switch gear, and uh, we're going to put the boat on the plane, pick her up to full speed, and show you how it performs and handles from the helm seat here. So first of all, taking a look at the clocks here, we've got a voltmeter showing currently 14 volts or just over, so it's charging okay. This little Jarman GPS man, 450, which is picking up location okay, giving us GPS speed and depth under the keel. We're in 38 foot of water here at the moment. Temperature gauge is reading just over 175, so and it's been bang on there. It's been totally steady for the last 10 or 15 minutes of running, so that's good. Speedo's working okay. Trim gauge is working. As you go up and down, and the drive trim is all good. RPM gauge is working. Oil pressure gauge sitting around 40 PSI, which is good. The fuel gauge is working because it's jumping around a wee bit, but there's not very much fuel in the boat. Um, so, nice clear dash. These all look to be the original gauges to me. A wee bit of fading on them, but other than that, they're good. So let's pop her into gear here. Gear shift is nice and smooth, and it's well balanced as well, sorry. Fore and aft. So, in the gear, we get lined up and we'll put her on the plane heading down the river here so we're around about 3000 rpm we're cruising at 28 miles an hour, 27, 28 miles an hour. Tally's up with the gauge. Temperature's good, bolts are good, oil pressure's good. Let's take a look at the wake. Take her up to full speed here now. So there you go, that's the um, that's how the Bayliner runs. It is a fairly windy day here, we're dodging between showers as well, so there's a wee bit of a chop on the river, but the boat's handling it pretty well, it's cut through it really well. Whenever I was chucking her through the tight turns for the for the video that we shot from the shoreline, the handling's very good, there was no, she didn't cavitate or skip out on any of the turns. Gets up on plane quickly, you don't lose sight of the horizon. These Bayliners, they all, they are, um, 
I mean, they've been building boats for a really long time, so they know how to do it. The engines are always well matched to the hulls. They don't have any sort of weird handling characteristics or anything, and this 652 is no exception. Up on plane quickly, the, the 4.3 MPI, 220 horsepower, is bags of power in this 20 foot package. It's quite a light boat for a high horsepower motor, so performance is excellent. She'll easily pull skiers and things like that. And then flat out with the prop that we've on at the minute, she's doing around about 45 miles an hour. And that was tallying up on the speedo and on the GPS. Um, you probably could get 50 out of her if you pitch the prop up a wee bit, but you will sacrifice acceleration onto the plane by doing that. I think the prop that's on her is great all rounder, particularly if you're looking to do a bit of water sports and stuff. So nice, impressive boat, running well, steering controls are all good. Obviously the thing's only got 183 hours on it, so it hasn't done very much. And um, You'd be, I think you'd be impressed with this boat on a sea trail um, if you're thinking about buying it or uh, come to try it out. Hopefully you found this useful and uh, shows you exactly how this thing performs um, on the water without having to go to the hassle of braving the rain and the wind like uh, we are here. Thanks for watching.